Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Apple Dreadnoughts. And the Alpha 12 update is here, version 85. Um, very, very exciting. Been looking forward to this uh, for the last couple of weeks. Um, and it just went live. I'm recording this as soon as, I, uh, as soon as I downloaded the patch, which is tiny, by the way. It's only about six megabytes or something. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm going to go through all the new stuff. So, 22 new holes. If you've read the... Um, the post on the community page or um, any of that stuff uh, that I've been putting out or you've been on my Discord, you'll know pretty much what's coming. But uh, we have several new hulls um, and I'm just double checking that none have been added. No. So uh, I will be uh, featuring all of these as soon as I possibly can. Uh, the Germans get two new advanced armoured cruisers based on the Deutschland class. The Japanese get a lot of ships, a modernized Dreadnought 3, a Dreadnought 4, Heavy Cruiser 2, an experimental Heavy Cruiser, and an experimental battleship, both very exciting, and a Yamato-style battleship, which is this one down here, hull variant, um, which, which is interesting due to its angled deck, so I'm curious to see what that one is. Italy gets two, uh, the Dreadnought 1 and the modern battleship 2, Russia, Spain, Italy, and Austria all get access to the new fast battleship, uh, this one here. And uh, China, uh, yeah, China gets an experimental battleship, a modern battleship, uh, and a battleship three, which is actually a pre-dreadnought. The Austrians get a modern battleship. Spain gets a modern battleship two. And Russia also gets quite a lot of stuff. They get a modern battleship too, a super battleship, a modern battle cruiser, a large cruiser, a modern light cruiser, and a pre-dreadnought battleship five. So there's a lot of there's a lot of new hulls. And I will don't worry, you'll be seeing Alpha 12 content. I'm going to do a video on each of these every day, um, and uh, I'm basically going to going to try out all these new ships and uh, and see see what. What they can do. New guns. Uh, Germans get Mark III, Mark IV, and Mark V special guns for their lower caliber guns. So that's their 12 inch and lower, which is well down to four. So not the secondaries. That's that's really nice. Really looking forward to more of this stuff. So each nation really has their own look. And Japan gets special Mark III big guns. For their kind of battleship grade weapons 9 to 16 and the mark ones 17 and 20 so that's also really nice to see torpedo tubes have completely been overhauled graphically so they change size according to technology and torpedo size so if you go for 24 inch torpedoes they're going to be big all ship components uh, have been kind of looked at again so you can't do things like a diesel engine using coal fuel with a and the, the way the boilers work and stuff so diesels in particular have um, been reworked which is again interesting because I use them quite a lot major improvement to ship line design controls again very excited to see these um, the the hitbox for the cursor has been reduced which is interesting the tonnage step has been reduced from 5 to 1 ton. I think that's actually going to be more annoying than anything, but I'll see how it's been implemented. I really just want the ability to type in um, what my what tonnage I want. Uh, various improvements and many new towers and parts. Very interesting. And that says various models. So this could, in fact, mean existing hulls that we already have access to. There might be new towers and parts. So there's no list of these, so I'll have to discover them um, as I go. The AI opponent has been significantly improved to be more aggressive. Yay! And approach nearer to the player when it has advantage. So they'll see, still keep distance um, if they think they have an advantage at range. But if they think they have the advantage to close in Torpio, I guess that's what they're going to try and do. Good. Um, AI controlled ships in screen scout follow should interact near to threats. Good. Ship evasion has been improved further. Good. And auto design has been made more effective. Interesting. 
Um, there's been big improvements with this um, over the various versions, so maybe we'll see less minimum bulkhead cordite fill bombs. Four new Naval Academy missions, which I will probably have a go at off camera, um, but they're interesting ones. So one on a German pocket battleship, one on Japanese modernized dreadnoughts, one on uh, the Russian fleet, and one on China kind of taking on Japan. And a bunch of bug fixes, um, which... Uh, this one, which I have seen, that's that's good. That one was rare, but did happen. When you put down an underwater torpedo, it would complain that the guns couldn't fire, even though they could. Um, auto delay, extreme what they, what they call an extreme delay is like a noticeable delay. Um, fix the bug uh, funnels on some towers. Oh, okay, that's nice. Again, didn't come up that often, but that's good. Balance. Now this one really, I really need to try out. Um, fire damage has been balanced and is now visible, so we can see how much damage over time fires inflict and I'm assuming ship resistance to fire and things like that. Um, and uh, this happened to me only once where I was like, what, what the hell's happened? Because I scored more hits on the enemy with better guns as far as I could work out, but they'd done more damage to me and I couldn't work it out and that must have been due to fire damage. So that, that's good that it's it's visible to the player. Um, they've reproofed the text. I think the game's text is actually pretty good. Um, so that's really, really nice to see. Flash fire effect is better scaled. Now this is interesting. So basically this makes them worse for small ships and in terms of them just blowing up. Um, but we might see ships take a flash fire, like the really big ones, they were just they were just dead if they took a flash fire. But maybe now we'll see bigger ships survive after a flash fire, um, just crippled, which is interesting. And obsolete dreadnought hulls are no longer available in late text. So this might mean that we no longer see 1940s Japan or 1940s Germany, which are the two biggest offenders. Um, you know, you're like, oh, I want to go up against something, you know, powerful, and they come with a with a dreadnought two or something that that now should not happen and save designs in naval academy will probably not work <laughs> they'll still be visible i think that means but uh, they won't work anyway i hope you've enjoyed that very brief rundown of the patch notes um i do get asked very very often to check um, or oh, one of the most requested things is new rear towers for the German super battleship. So I'm very quickly, uh, sorry, uh, I'm very quickly going to check and see if we have any new towers. No, not for that one. It's the one I get asked about about the most because um, this this one is the uh, is the rear uh, is the front tower. Sorry, of one of the other ships reversed um, so they're still working on that um, they're nice looking guns and what about the main guns oh so these are the new ones oh oh they look nice I like that very um, very not all oh, those twelves okay they look good you can fit them on a cruiser. Medium superimposed barbette 2. Interesting. Why would you... Uh. Very, and a 3. Okay, there's lots of new stuff to play around with. Interesting. These are all medium barbettes, supposedly. But yeah, cruiser guns... So if you wanted to go, you know, Deutschland class, you can uh, you can make something that looks pretty nice. Now I would say, yeah, those those look amazing. Those look really good. Okay, and uh, let's have a quick look at Japan, uh, who also had new gun models. 
Oh, they're experimental battleships like the French one. And they get three different modernized dreadnoughts. Cool. Okay, uh, whoa. Oh my. Oh my, there's lots to think about here. Uh, let's stick it down the standard bar bit. Let's see their new gun model. Um, mind you, they said it was earlier. It was like the Mark 3s and Mark 1s. So let's go down to like 1925. Should be able to see them then. Uh, yeah, here they are. This is this is the new model. Um, let's, let's see what it looks like. Oh yes, very nice, very nice indeed. I just noticed this is actually one of the new hulls as well. Um, ooh, yes, you can build some very nice looking ships. Look at all those casemate guns. This isn't even the biggest one. Good lord. You can... <laughs> mm. Hello. <laughs> well, I think we'll be seeing some interesting designs. <laughs> anyway. Oh, yes. Mm. Okay. Well, I'm very excited to get playing this. So I'll stop waffling and I'll start making some videos on all the new stuff. And... I hope to see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Enjoy Alpha 12. Thank you very much to the devs. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Bye-bye for now.